So let's go ahead and build a farm, maybe a few other buildings, kind of explore the final few features that we can look into for the pre-alpha. So over the break, we managed to get 13 adults, uh, most of our most of our babies. Actually, you can see the the baby making happen right in front of us. So uh, yeah, great way to start off the episode. Fantastic way to start the episode off. All right, so I'm pretty sure our reservoir has been built. Let's go ahead and slap down a farm. And uh, we should keep in mind this range, which, you know, we might need to put it out this way a little bit. Yeah, we're going to put it right there in the middle since... Uh, most of our, our growth kind of is naturally heading towards, I'm guessing the, the temperature. I'm guessing the temperature is probably a lot better here, but uh, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, there's some awesome thunderstorms that are happening there in the background. So here's the reservoir that we we're trying to build last time, build last time around. Right now we're, we're filling the reservoir because we've got more, we've got more water usage, more water generation than we're actually using. But what's a very, what's very interesting is going to be this mechanic here. If this green bar gets too close to 30 de 32 degrees, uh, Fahrenheit or 104 degrees Fahrenheit so like if it goes down here then the water reservoir is gonna start to freeze over and then you're gonna be really screwed uh, if it gets too high though the water is gonna begin to evaporate I think that's really cool and I hope that that's something that's explored a little bit more maybe just in general that kind of makes me think and actually this uh, this has nothing to do with any of this stuff but kind of global warming the whole like evaporation mechanic I'm wondering if there's gonna be possibly a global warming because uh, we are seeing since there's oil, I'm wondering if there's going to be like coal and kind of more kind of dirty uh, energy consumption in the future. Uh, I, I'm just kind of curious if that is all going to kind of take place. But uh, I, I'm assuming it might. There might be some sort of like, you know, or it, I'm, I, it, I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of like degrade to the environment as, as you're still an upcoming, up and, up and coming sieve. I don't know why. A sieve. Whatever. Civilization, yeah, because we are civilization. We are civilization. Okay, so here's our farm. Everyone's eating right now, so they haven't even begun. So they're being so lazy. So lazy. Oh, wait a second. Do you have... Well, yeah, you have to get the resources over there first. So they haven't pulled over the resources, which is kind of a problem. Something to keep in mind. Being Placing, you know, kind of important buildings next to both wood and stone would be good before you have a distrib uh, distribution center. Like I said, the distribution center will be useful so that you can uh, kind of select certain certain resources to not just be laying out here in the middle of the ground. All right, so more babies are are, are, are just happening, I guess. It's just it's just starting to happen. Uh, let's get another builder. Uh, let's get two more builders because I think we're doing fine everywhere else. I'm not really trying to chop down the rest of this forest just yet because it looks so it looks so pretty. This is actually a pretty good lake too, though. Okay, so a new nugget has arrived. So we've got two babies so far. I uh, have a new skip in their step. Okay, so we, we've had we've got more mating happening. Graces with their presence. Oh my gosh, we just had four babies pop up. Okay, so that that is happening. Good, good, good. Our 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 little tribe here is uh is we're the tribe of love making apparently. Cause dang, we're just pumping these babies out five. All right, we need to be be prepared for this. How's our farm doing now? All right, good. So we're almost there. Uh, I'll queue up another building. What sh what else should we explore now? We already built the water reservoir. I guess distribution center. And we'll we'll put that right there. Boom. So we'll work on that next, and then maybe one more. Uh, water consumption consumption. We're doing fine, but like I said, you're gonna need additional water pumps as uh, as more nuggets pop up so we might as well pop this down right there like that and uh, there is another lake over here which is something good if I were to continue the campaign and uh, eventually I mean it's very unlikely that we get to the point where all this all this fresh water would be dried up because I don't think we're ever gonna get that many nuggets we're still at like 98 point you know 8% but obviously things things are growing pretty rapidly right now so it's it's hard to say yeah so here's our like kind of water pump and, and things like that um, uh-oh. They need something to eat soon. Ooh, okay, well, maybe we should make more... We should probably get more food. Maybe I will less this... Uh, there we go. Let's try that. I think we should be fine, though. Well, the farm will fix that, too. And something to keep in mind is, is when winter comes around, we need to choose certain crops. Okay, good. So that building stone hut has been finished, which means that we'll be able to focus a little bit more heavily on uh, getting the stone resources here. Reach adulthood. Good. So all of our babies have pretty much become adults. Nobody's died yet in the uh, in our in our tribe. 
So that's nice. Uh, you know what else? We've got enough people. We could probably assign a uh, engineer. So yeah, so let's go ahead and assign you. Now, like I said, I can focus on repairing some of our buildings, which actually is pretty pretty important. But let's just let's just do something balanced. And I actually might do an additional one because we're starting to get a lot of buildings up. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So right now they're repairing because I, I believe the stone huts can also uh, 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 that will also require some sort of preparation. Or I'm sorry, uh, repairing. I'm not sure if, if if it's this that's causing all all the uh, yeah all the degradation, all the degrading of of shelter. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. We've got little flowers out here, melon fruits. So this is some of the stuff that we're collecting. We won't need to collect this very soon, though. And what is being... Okay, distribution center. Why is the distribution center being built faster than my dang farm? Well, because I, I put the dang farm a little bit further than I should have. There it goes. Alright, bam. So there we are. So now, I can assign certain farmers. And do we have... Let's see. Yeah, we're still, we're still growing. So it's very important to check on the seasons and the temperatures. We can look at uh, kind of the pretty much the future days. I'm guessing this is going week by week since there's only four units, or is it five? I don't know. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and assign some of the some of these nuggets that have no job. So each plot of land is going to require stone and uh, and wood. We've got plenty of that though. So we'll start. We'll, we'll do two. And actually, I'd love to, to watch that. There we go. There's the baby. I was just waiting for that baby to become an adult. So you're going to be a farmer too. You guys can both focus on... Um, what is that called? Like when you like turn the dirt and then you make it fertile? Is it... Jeez. I, I don't I don't know. It's something that I really should know though, Drew. I, I <laughs> So many face palms just happened right now. Uh, Alright. And, uh, well, something to keep in mind is we're also working on the distribution center, so that also might be a reason why we, uh, we're, we're, we're lacking with the stone. Uh-oh, someone's feeling frisky. But we actually have a lot of stone. The problem is that the stone is still pretty far away. That's the issue. Okay, good. Uh, building stone hut. And there we go. Now they have the resources. Now we can focus on this. We might even want a third farmer. A third farmer would be good, especially because, bam, this this is done. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start building here. And uh, let's go ahead and choose a crop. Okay, so right now the winter is coming, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to have a very cold winter, though. We're only seeing two weeks of, uh, of, of freezing weather. Either way, I'm going to have to go with something that can survive in... Uh, can survive in all sorts of temperatures so like this panda brain plum uh, which i'm assuming is probably something that is not the most tasty uh for our people but we kind of don't have a choice right now I, I guess if i if i was quick on it no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take uh, i could probably take the chance so like you're gonna see your crop slowly degrade see like or you're gonna see the food um lose or start to go down i guess once uh, this day comes, because this this crab berry, crab crab apple, I mean, is uh, it's gonna be too cold for the crab apple, so some of our crops are gonna die, so it's not gonna be as plentiful, I guess you could say plentiful. So I can also queue up other things. Um, let's we should probably go with just a bunch of food that oh this is actually pretty good. Well no that day where the low is 10, 10 degrees Fahrenheit is gonna be pretty bad so. I probably shouldn't take that chance. Yeah, let's let's just grow some panda brain because it can pretty much grow no matter what. And I'll I'll queue up one more after that. Um, for you, I'd like to take a little bit more of a risk. Bloody diarrhea fruit. Doesn't that sound tasty? I think that sounds really tasty. Like I kind of want some like right now. But um, I I could just speed up the progress. Uh. Well, well, yeah, of course. We've got to build some bloody diarrhea fruit. That sounds amazing. Everybody's going to want that. All right, boom. So let's queue that up. And uh, the final plot of land is being built, which I actually can probably assign a third farmer. Let's do that. All right. Is there any other buildings that I'd like to explore? So we've explored the farm. We've already got the distribution center and the water reservoir. Uh, final thing is probably just maybe a cemetery or the eatery. All right, so let's go with the eatery. 
Let's put that out here in the corner if we can. It's really not a lot of not a lot of room because we're growing. We've got so many little stone huts all over the place. Everyone's building. You can see like furs up here. That's so awesome. It's just very cool. How it all naturally grows. There are mammoths, and this is probably a good time to maybe check in on our animal statistics window. Right now, there's only about eight mammoths in the world. Reproduction rate. The black bear is not reproducing. Uh oh. But we're not even hunting these guys. We've got 913 wolves so far on the planet. Only 12 humpback whales, lots of hawks, a good amount of rabbits. Again, there's no hunting, but obviously this is, I think, going to show you that hunting will be uh, a pretty crucial thing in the very beginning, at least, when you're still kind of growing everything. Oh, don't mind this. Don't mind that. Ignore, ignore. <laughs> and, uh, and here's our farm. Oh, look at this little structure. That's kind of cool. Just random rocks built up. Uh, recognize oh happy birthday nice someone someone's birthday came around or is it because it was a baby it might have been because there's a baby all right so we've got two available nuggets let's continue to work on building resources yeah we're doing absolutely fine with resources so I'm just gonna continue to work on building and food building and food so these two babies will be uh, getting us food and you can just see it all naturally grow like that's so awesome Eventually, this whole forest is going to be cut, cut, down, cut down, and I'm wondering what you do then. What are you going to do for wood? I, I'm, I'm assuming there's probably going to be a way to regrow trees. It might take a long time. Oh, and there's a thunderstorm going right over us right now. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And we've got 26. We've reached 26. Okay, so let's check on our, let's check on our food. Because, okay, so now we're going to see, start to get really cold. And uh, our crystalline, crystalline crab apples are going to be, I think they're going to start to lose their food value. Jeez, look at this day. This day in spring is 11, it's still pretty dang cold. <laughs> What's up with that? Hey, actually, we might be able to get through this day. Oh, it's a range. It's not showing us the low. It's like anywhere between these two. Oh, so that's great. That's great. So we probably could have, we can take a risk and do something like a juicy acorn. Let's do a juicy acorn. This is going to be a 36 degree day. So look at that. We're going to be able to get all this stuff done. The bloody diarrhea fruit is really uh, growing pretty fast. And uh, I'll just, I'll kind of go a little bit more. We also have a dragon egg fruit. That's actually not bad either. That's pretty easy to grow. Notice the tooltip is, I think it's Swedish. The uh, the community manager that I, I that I spoke with at E3 was, uh, I believe, most most of him and his team were, were Swedish. Yeah, so uh, things are looking pretty good. Let me just check on the eatery real quick. Okay, we still haven't we have still haven't built that. They almost have the stone though. That's all that they're looking for. Finding a spot to eat. Yeah, very beautiful game. It, it's it's looking like it's going to be a very, very uh, promising future. Harvest is canceled. Harsh weather killed it. Oh, we had some harsh weather. Ouch. All right. Well, we tried. We tried. See, this is what I mean. So this The, the food will, will slowly go down if it's too cold. That is something we need to keep in mind. We got to keep in mind the... Uh, weather system is going to be pretty important for us and I'm wondering if like storm is like storms and stuff like that is also going to have an impact we've got another person ready to start a family good do we have a veil oh my gosh we do okay start making us more food just to make sure because we did lose a lot of farmland we just lost a lot of farmland you know there's a lake right here too this this free f like this free flying camera is just so good it just looks so good to me look at that and then boom we could just fly right over them and there it is all right guys so I'm gonna have to stop right there we uh, we got to explore this game a little bit and I'm really hoping that we're uh, that you know progress continues to be made and and that we oh look they're starting to grow over here now in the northern part of our lake so yeah they're gonna start to build huts over there but yeah, no, I'm really, really, really excited for this game. It looks 
so good so good very very promising future i think and uh hope you guys are excited for it as well so i definitely plan to revisit the universe sim in the future i i honestly can't wait again it's been a game that i've been really excited for i know a lot of you guys have as well so uh it's it seems like it's gonna be something really cool but uh, anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time